Alright boys, today we're going to be talking about Modern Warfare 2 and everything that I have absolutely loved about this game. Now, I am in the honeymoon phase, but man, am I loving Modern Warfare 2. I'm having so much fun playing the brand new COD, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about everything. I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the game, a lot of the brand new leaks and everything coming out with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We got survival mode leaked, we got the brand new maps leaked, such as High Rise, Terminal, and all those classic MW2 maps that I know that you guys want just as much as me. So we're going to be going over all of that in today's video. We're going to be talking about how I just think that this game has some of the biggest potential, way more than any other Call of Duty. We're getting a two-year lifespan on this game, and I think that this game really has a great chance to be something special because of the core mechanics of this game are simply beautiful. I absolutely love it, and I'm going to go into detail about how much I love every single little aspect in this game, and what I like, what I don't like, what I think they're going to improve, and everything that is set to come in Modern Warfare 2, and everything that we're going to end up seeing in the next couple of months. Now boys, if you enjoyed this video, I know 70% of you guys watching this video are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, take a second out of your day and hit that sub button, I'd really appreciate it. Also, we're going to set the like goal at about 70 likes and let's get right into the video. Boys, so I have been really loving Modern Warfare 2 so far and we have been absolutely killing it as far as progression goes. I'm starting to get my way down here. Now, getting AR's Diamond or in this game Platinum is a little bit harder then I actually ended up thinking, I thought it was going to be really easy. These weapon levels are actually taking me longer. I wasn't able to get it in the first couple of days. But right now, we're sitting at three ARs, and we've already leveled up two of the next four ARs. So we're kind of getting there. I'm making my way through it. Right now, I actually have the AUG that I'm working on, and I'm also, at the same time, working on the next AK, which I thought was terrible at first, but it's actually not so bad. The cast off 545, definitely not the best. I like the other AK a little bit more. But we have all sorts of guns gold so far. We've got... Uh, we've got the M4 done, we've got the TAC-56 done, and we've got the cast off done that we actually just got done last night. Which, honestly, the cold camo on the AK looks absolutely beautiful. I love all of it this year. So right now we're at 3 of 8, we're getting there, we're making our way towards Platinum. I don't have Platinum ARs yet, I'm going to try to end up streaming tonight and we'll see how far I can actually end up going. But I've been making my way through, the only problem about getting these done ASAP is the fact that I have to go through all of the other battle rifles and stuff. So that's just a little bit tough. Like Lockman 762 is kind of average and I just really don't want to do it. But I'm going to have to grind assassin and end up going through that to end up getting these guns. So I can end up using them to get diamond. But I'm kind of just going to go over some of my thoughts on the game this year. As I am really enjoying it and why I think that this year can be the best game ever. Now I'm already really enjoying this game before they end up dropping all of the classic maps in call of duty modern warfare 2 whenever they end up dropping maps like terminal and maps like high rise and all of these og mw2 maps that i have been wanting to play on a new engine forever this game has one of the biggest potentials of any game we've had so many leaks coming that we are getting a zombies mode that we are ending up getting a brand new survival mode like the old modern warfare used to have we're getting dmz we're getting warzone 2.0 and i just think that this game has the potential to be amazing better than anything that we've ever seen on console this game runs amazing on pc this game has run amazing i've played it on both and i love both of them there it, it, it honestly just feels so smooth on next gen consoles and it feels so smooth on my pc and i've even heard good things about old gen consoles my roommate has an xbox one and he said that it's ran fine and smoothly even though the graphics aren't necessarily perfect that they're scaled to next gen that he is still having a fun time playing the game it's nice and smooth and so this is just it's a lot of fun man and i i'm so excited there's so many things that we have a lot to talk about with everything that was recently announced that there is a brand new survival mode that the new maps are coming and kind of when to expect everything was season one first things first i just want to talk about how smooth the sum of the weapon balance is in this game it is amazing and it is great to see with the fast time to kill i feel like you can reasonably use almost any weapon in this game i know that there's a lot of creators that are actually end up saying that hey i can only use the method Feel like i have to sweat in every game because of sbmm and i just feel like that's not the case it's just it's not true and the reason why it's not true is that i've been playing this game i have over 10 to 12 hours logged in this game maybe even more i played this game literally from like 4 to 3 a.m the other day and i've done this pretty much back-to-back -back nights and i haven't really gotten off this game i have been grinding it other than sleeping and go to class i have been playing modern warfare 2 because it's just been so much fun so i don't understand the criticism i don't understand why there's so many people that are saying hey i can't play this game because everyone's running the same guns 
Whenever I'm playing, people are using the M4, people are using the AK, people are using the SCAR. There's a ton of people sniping because sniping, honestly, in this game is broken right now. It's so good. The marksman rifles, they shoot so fast. The regular snipers, if you hit them pretty much waist up, they are dead and it is running well. I love this game. The weapon balance is going amazing. The streaks are strong. There's advanced UAVs. There's a radar. And I am just having so much fun playing this game. I do not understand why there are so many people crapping on it. This is, it's so fun. And the balance in this game right now for a day one launch is really, really good. It doesn't seem like there's one gun that is just broken, disgusting. I mean, even the burst guns, I expected the M16 to be amazing. The M16 is not that great. So we're going to be able to see some different metas in the game. There might even be a SCAR meta. I haven't seen a SCAR meta in any Call of Duty. That is just absolutely awesome. The AK is strong. The AUG is strong. All of these ARs and all of these subs. The Fennec I've heard is really good even though it has a really big damage drop off. I think that it's just absolutely amazing. The maps, I, I like most of the maps. So whenever we're talking about the maps and kind of the gunplay and why I think this game is going to be great, now you got to keep in mind that they're going to be adding a lot of maps to this game. I know that there aren't that many maps at launch. We get 11 6v6 maps. And honestly, I like all of them except for the car border control map. I just, I think it's one of the worst maps that's ever been created. But there's a lot of maps that I really like. I like Hydro Electric a lot. I like the train map. I like the race car map. I like all of these maps that are in the game other than pretty much one or two. And I feel like they play well, especially some of those three lane maps. I think the Hydroelectric is definitely my favorite. I think it plays really well. Hardpoint's a ton of fun. I haven't had a lot of games going the time limit because I've been playing Hardpoint and I've been playing Domination and there's been a lot of gunfights. And as one thing that I really like, that is a big difference between Modern Warfare 2019. Modern Warfare 2019 just was so slow. The maps were so huge and outrageous. You got absolutely demolished anytime you would try to push anything and so i'm just a big fan of the giant improvements that modern warfare 2 has taken for modern warfare 1 i think that it's absolutely amazing and i am so excited to end up grinding this game even for a two-year lifespan i think it's going to end up doing well as long as they keep on updating it cod's a talent the team treyarch is helping with this and it seems like all the studios are coming together to work on Modern Warfare 2 and to help out Modern Warfare 2. The camos cover the full game gun. There hasn't been like any game breaking, terrible glitches in the game that I have seen. And so that is basically why I think Modern Warfare 2 has a giant chance to be one of the best Call of Duties that we have ever seen. I think it's going to be so much fun. And once you start adding all these nostalgic maps into this game and even some other maps in general and maybe even a ranked mode in this game. I think that this has one of the greatest potentials of any Call of Duty. If they do ranked right and they make this game a really fun ranked experience, I just, I see myself absolutely grinding this game like never before. And I really want to see some amazing things out of that, out of Warzone 2. And I think that it has just some absolute amazing potential. And I'm 100% on board for the new Call of Duty. Now, boys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, make sure that you guys hit that like and sub button. Let's go for 100 likes on this video. And if you are new and you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that sub button as we're going to be posting videos every single day on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you boys later and peace.